Well, I watched the interview with Harry and Meghan and Oprah like many of you did. And of course, I don't know the ins and outs of everything no more than any of us do. But what I did um, want to say is that I can relate, as can many of you, to what it is like to feel stuck and trapped and imprisoned in a situation, a relationship, a scenario in your life. And despite speaking up and challenging that and crying for help, as in Megan's case, with her mental health and suicidal thoughts, not being heard and listened to and not being helped. What can you do, I thought, as I listened to them. Um, would we have preferred an interview with Harry on his own, speaking about the suicide of his wife? That could have been an outcome. I wonder how we would have differently seen everything had that have been the interview with Oprah. I wonder if then we'd have all been crying out for more people to be heard and um, the wrong of her not being heard. And I think because Harry remembers his mum and the royal family have form in this area of not listening to cries for help, um, he decided that he didn't want history to repeat itself and so took the situation into his own hands as many of you have had to do and need to do but don't have the courage to do and I completely can relate to that. Years ago I felt very stuck and trapped and imprisoned in my own organisation, in my case in the church world and the group I was part of who, when I began to voice my concerns and cries for help, um, was intimidated uh, and threatened and bullied to silence me. And when I wouldn't stay silent, it just got worse and more intense and it became more divisive and more undermining. And so I had my own version, as have many of you, of, you know, having... In Harry's case, the finances cut and the security removed. We've all had our versions of those trying to control us and keep us inside the group for fear we speak out or for fear we give other people the same ideas who are also contemplating uh, breaking out and jumping ship. We are controlled and shut down and intimidated. And I knew that if I left, it would be like being shunned by the Amish because others had experienced that. And that was pointed out to me. Do you really want to be that person that is shunned and rejected and excluded and spoke negatively of in the following years, which happened? But I think when your own well-being, mental, physical, emotional health is on the line, what can you do? And, you know, it's difficult to speak out against people that are doing that to you when you love and respect them so much. I understand that dilemma too, because I loved and respected dearly some of the people that were doing this to me. And when I began, when I began to speak up and voice my complaints and my concerns, of course, the words ungrateful and disrespectful and dishonoring were spoken to me and about me. And I hated that because I knew in my heart that just wasn't true. And the fear of being seen that way kept me quiet too. I can relate to that. And I think you can too. So my heart goes out today to you guys out there that also are battling your own sense of feeling trapped and stuck and imprisoned in a situation. And I send love and prayers to you. I also think we're at a time in the world in history, guys. We have seen it with the Arab Spring and the collapse of so many long-standing forms of control and containment and oppression um, and silencing of voices around the world. Perhaps this again is the continuation of the erosion of any organizations, family, institutions, governments, and so on that continue to not listen and continue to stand by while we suffer. So I pray for courage and strength for you guys today, and I hope you get the help you need if you also need to escape some form of control and imprisonment you may be in today. All right, sending love to you all. Hope that helps.